Welcome to Fit for Life. Today is yoga day and uh, we're gonna be relaxed. We're still gonna be getting some good exercise and uh, you're gonna feel so much better, so much more relaxed when this class is over, I'm sure of it. I just have to remember to do things slowly. And uh, I don't know what I would do without yoga and the yoga breath especially. The yoga breath is calming, it calms you down, it, it relieves the anxiety and all those things you're thinking about and it kind of just makes them go away or at least much better. Uh, the yoga breath is clearing, it clears out all this constant mind chatter that we do. We talk to ourselves or sometimes I talk out loud. Um, you think, you know, just talking about things that really aren't important. Um, they're going to take care of themselves. We don't need to keep everything in our minds all the time, and keep rehashing. So it helps us, that yoga breath helps us to clear the mind, quiet the mind. Uh, and the yoga breath is controlling. You can control the way you feel, physically and mentally. It takes a little practice, especially with the yoga breath. But that's what we're trying to do in this class. I'm giving you some basics. I want you to take other classes. I'd like you to do some reading, uh, get a book of beginner yoga for yourselves, uh, but do, do get into it. There's got to be some reason that millions and millions of people are doing it and have been doing it for thousands of years. So um, I'm glad you're here with me today. So I'm going to give you a, a little taste of both seated and standing yoga. Uh, the, these uh, asanas, they're called, the forms are strengthening to the body. Uh, they also give you flexibility. Um, they give you what's known as proprioception, your sense of where you are in space. Uh, and that, that's sometimes how we fall because um, our, our mind and body aren't, aren't that connected, so you don't always know where you are in space. So that's why, again, we start losing our balance here and there. So look up the word proprioception. Proprioception. That's not an easy word to spell, but... You'll, you can do it. Okay, um, so we're going to start with our seated yoga, um, and we're going to say namaste, which is uh, a greeting to each other. It's a Sanskrit word, and um, there are kind of different me meanings, but it's mostly just to show respect for the people you're with. Uh, most, of you, most of you watching are probably by yourself, but it's, it's a salutation. It's like, hello, I'm here. And I'm going to give you some exercises to do. So let's do a little bit of the yoga breath first. Just relax your hands. You can put them here. Try not to slouch. Let's sit up fairly straight. Let's take a breath up through your nose, breathing up, holding, and exhaling through your mouth. Keep exhaling. Try to make the exhalation a little bit longer. And I guarantee if you practice this, it will help you to clear your mind. You will be able to concentrate better. It can lower blood pressure. It can help you to focus better. It's, it does so much for us. Just, it has such a calming effect. So let's take another breath together all the way up through your nose. Just doing that relaxes me, holding that breath, exhaling through your mouth. As you exhale, you can let your chin drop down. Relax that upper back a little bit. And one more yoga breath together, all the way up. Up through your nose, holding for two seconds, and exhaling through your mouth. Keep exhaling, dropping that chin down. Wonderful. And maybe you haven't even noticed it, but You've cleared your brain a little bit. I, I do, I, you'll hear me, I'll be talking a little slower, I'll be moving a little bit slower. It's just so relaxing, it's so good for us. I'm gonna come forward in the chair just a little bit. Um, maybe more than a little bit. Just don't fall off the chair, okay? Let's do our salute to the sun, which is normally done standing up and then on the floor and then back up again. Uh, we'll do a much shorter version but it'll give us a good stretch and we'll do it with the breath, which will make it even better. Breathing up through the nose, holding and exhale forward. Keep exhaling, exhaling. 
push that air out. Let's get rid of the old air, the stuffy air, and just breathe in some new air. So let's, as we start sitting up, we're going to breathe up through the nose. Hold and exhale. And I think that feels very good. Let's drop the ear to the shoulder, nice and easy. How does that feel? Your neck might be a little stiff. This might help with that. And then you're gonna bring the head back up and look straight ahead. And then we'll turn just the head, not your body, nice and easy. And then to the other side, slowly, slowly, and slowly again. So try to concentrate on what you're doing. Don't think about what you're gonna do next. If those thoughts come in, and they will, just take another one of these breaths. I don't have to tell you each breath. You just do it as you feel like doing it. You can do it with every single movement we do today if you want. All right, now I'm gonna sit back again. Just gonna lift your knee up. We've done this before, but not with the breath, the yoga breath. So you're gonna just lift that leg up. You can sit back. I like to put my elbows on the arms of the chair. It gives me a little support. It makes it easier to do this. So again, we're breathing up. And holding and exhaling through your mouth. Let that chin drop down slowly, slowly, good. We're gonna stay there for a few seconds. You can do your natural breathing now, unless you'd like to do another yoga breath. And then you're gonna bring your head back up. What I'd like you to do is drop the leg down a little bit and then pull it up and in and hold it and let it give you good posture. Pull that chin right in. Wonderful, so yoga is great for posture. And then we'll do the other side. So we're gonna bring the leg back up, holding underneath. You can put the arms on the arms of your chair if you have arms on your chair. I do suggest that you do when, we, when you tune in. All right. Holding that leg up, let's take another breath in, up through the nose. Holding for two, exhaling. As you exhale, pull that leg in just a little bit. Drop your chin down, good. Oh, this is wonderful. I'm relaxed already. Let that chin drop down. And we'll bring the head back up. Wonderful. Bring that arm down. Let's grab some water. Always have your water nearby. Wonderful. All right, now I'm going to give you something that I do in all my class, regardless of whether it's strength training or stretching or yoga. Uh, we're going to do our four spinals. This is for the lower back. A lot of yoga asanas uh, involve the lower back. So open those feet, come forward in your chair. Let's take a breath all the way up. And hold and then exhale down. Let those arms drop right down. Keep your head up if you have to. Oh, feel that stretch down there in the lumbar area. That's wonderful. Now we're gonna breathe up and come up slowly. Up through the nose again. Bring those arms back. And as you bring the arms down, and breathe out, out through your mouth, bring the arms down. Wonderful. Uh, let's do something now that's really very, very easy. And we're gonna sit back first, and we're gonna do some spinal rotation. There's a lot of twisting and turning with yoga, so we're gonna try it with the yoga breath first, breathing up, up through the nose. Holding, and when you exhale, I'd like you to turn and just hold onto the arm of the chair or the seat or even just your leg and pull yourself around, sitting up nice and straight. Let's take a breath here in this position, breathing up. Holding, 
and exhale slowly as you bring your head back. Hands right here, just above your knees, good. Let's pull ourselves up nice and straight. Let's do a little bit of a turn or a little rotation, holding onto the arm of the chair. Pull yourself around. In this position, let's take another breath through the nose. Holding that breath and exhale. Now we'll just bring the head back slowly. Hands right here, good, nice and tall. And now we're gonna bend the spine a little bit. So we're gonna take this hand, cross it over, holding onto the chair or the seat, breathing up through the nose again, reaching way up and we'll exhale. I've got my palm facing down but not like this. I'd like you to keep the arm as straight as possible. The spine can bend. It can bend. Wonderful. Now your natural breathing. Just come back and we're going to switch to the other side. Good. Breathing up through the nose. Holding, reaching, bending. Nice straight arm. Oh boy, that feels good, doesn't it? I hope it does because feels good for me. And then we'll come back up. All right, now we're going to do next something called the Yoga Eagle. And it's a great stretch for the upper body and your arms. And you'll see that when we try it. So we've had it before, we've done it before in our warm-ups for other classes. Elbow over elbow, if you can do it. If not, you can cross here, but try to get that elbow over and then bring the hands back. There I am. And can you feel that good stretch? It's not terribly comfortable. Uh, the eagle is done standing also, usually, and your leg does the same thing that your hands do, and you're balancing on one foot, so you'd have to really practice that. So let's, let's try the other side. Cross over. This one's a little bit more difficult to do for me. And just see if you can just bring those hands together. Or maybe a thumb, anything, just, just touching the other hand. But you can feel that stretch up there, right? Yeah. Arms out. Let's just grab the elbows. Let's take a breath together all the way up. Hold and then exhale through the mouth. You can make a whooshing sound if you want. You're by yourself, right? Good. Wonderful. Let that chin drop right down. <sighs> Feels great. All right, let's just relax. Arms on the arms of the chair, palms up. Let's just relax for a couple of minutes here. The music too will help us relax. So you're gonna breathe up through the nose as much as you can. Hold for two seconds and exhale. Make the exhalation longer, 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 good. Drop your head right down, good. And we'll bring the head back up. Slowly, very slowly, good. Okay, now we're going to do the yoga cat. It's, it's just a great stretch for your spine. It's great for your posture too. So let's slide forward. Good. Hands on your knees. You're going to breathe up through your nose. Hold that breath. And now let's do the opposite. Chin down, shoulders up. You can round your back. You can have poor posture. But it's a really nice stretch for the spine, isn't it? Arching, kind of arching the back, rounding the back. Let's breathe up as we come up. Bring those shoulders down, pull that chin in. Breathing up through the nose, good. And then exhale and just relax. I love the way this one feels. It's a good one. 
And while we're here, why don't we do another one of these little uh, rotations. Both hands right here on the outside of the knee. Pull yourself up straight and just do a little bit of a twist. And yes, you can do it with the breath too. Just pulling yourself around. Good. As we come back, we're going to breathe up. Exhale. Both hands to the other side. So you're still exhaling. And just your normal breath right now. And we'll breathe up through the nose again. And exhale as you come back. I just think that feels good. It's kind of graceful. So let's do the cat one more time. All right. Pull yourself up. Kind of pull against your knees. Your shoulders come down. You have perfect posture here. Looking up at the ceiling. Push your jaw up toward the ceiling. And then relax it. Now drop your chin down. And we'll bring the head back up. All right, we're going to do some standing yoga now for the last few minutes, which uh, we've done before, most of it. Grab some water. I don't know, I think water is just refreshing. It's, I think it makes your brain feel a little bit lighter and make sure you get up without holding on. Good. Okay. We are going to do our warrior pose. I think I'm going to move the chair. Here we go. Give ourselves more room. A nice wide. You don't have to move your chair. You may have to hold on to your chair for some of these movements. Some of you won't. Just little lunges. Nice and easy. I like this movement. Most people like it. Most people can do it. We'll bring those arms up from the shoulder to the hand. It's on the same level, so don't drop that down. Try to keep them even right out from the shoulder. This foot is on an angle. The opposite foot is straight, or straighter at least. And I'd like you to pull that chin back. And I bet you'll look great right now. We're going to bend that front knee and come back slowly. Good. Try it again. Bending. Good. Try it again. And back. Let's take a breath up through the nose. And exhale and bend that knee and drop that back arm right down. Now, if you have a chair in front of you, you can hold on to the chair. And I'm just going to do our little back bend all the way back. Good. And then we'll come back up slowly. Now, right here, you can turn both feet up. Let's relax for a minute. Just drop down. Keep your head up if you have to. You might have to come to the side of the chair to do this if the chair is close to you here, right? Whatever you can do, just let the weight of your upper body pull you right down. You can keep your head up. Yes, that can be done with the yoga breath also. So again, we're going to do a nice wide second. Toe out or foot out on an angle. And the back foot is straight or straighter up. Make sure that back arm is nice and straight and up high enough and you're going to bend. This time take a breath first and exhale as you bend. Good. Pull that head back, pulling that chin in and do it again. Good. And one more time. Terrific. Now we're going to bend the knee this time and let the arm come down. Hold on to the chair. If your balance is good, you could do it here. You're reaching up and back. Oh, that's a wonderful stretch all the way up. Good. Bring that arm down and drop forward. Good. Very comfortable. And we'll come right back up. Okay. I'm going to put my chair back. And if you've done that already, you can do the same thing. We're going, to, we're going to come to the side of the chair. Not here, but nice and straight. And we're going to do something called connecting heaven and earth. And we're going to do it with the yoga breath. So you're going to breathe up through your nose. You're breathing up. And this arm goes down at the same time. 
So you're breathing up through the nose and exhaling and bringing those hands together. But this time we do both arms together. So it's breathing up, flat palm, flat palm. It's a great stretch. It's very good for balance. And then we'll bring the hands down. We're going to breathe up through the nose again, reaching up and down at the same time. Good. And exhale as you bring the hands together. Let's try it again, connecting heaven and earth. Good. And exhale. One more time. Way up. Good. And down. And this will make us a little bit taller, maybe a little bit slimmer. Who knows? All right. Great. All right. Now just very gently, little steps, just to loosen up a little bit. Put one foot forward and one foot back. And one foot forward. How's your balance today? One foot forward and one foot back. Try the other side. Just reaching forward because we're going to do a little forward lunge in a minute. Forward and back. Just want you to test, test your balance. See how your balance is today? Forward and back. All right, now hands on your hips. Stay at the side of your chair. Uh, if you can't do this all the way forward like that, you can put one foot in front of the other and just do a little knee bend. So you're just going to lunge to the front because we do some lunging in yoga, standing yoga, and back. The other side, a little lunge, good, and back. Try it again, lunge. If you need to hold on to the chair, that's fine. If you can stay there, let's take a breath through the nose. Bring the arms up if you can. And exhale down. Might have to practice that one a little bit. Huh? Try it again, breathing up. And down, good. And that can be done much slower, and you can stay there a much longer time. Next time, maybe we'll do less longer, okay? Again, lunging with the other leg. A little lunge to the front. Come back. You're not used to doing this, I'm sure. And then we're going to do a little lunge. Find a place where your balance is pretty good. Bring those arms up, up, up. Good. And then back. All right. Lift your knee up to stretch your lower back a little bit. Lift those knees up. Three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Now the next uh, yoga asana that we're going to be doing is called the yoga triangle. And there are different ways to do it, but we're going to do it this way. Just drop the arm down. Let's practice a little bit first. Uh, again, if you're concerned about falling, get behind your chair and hold on, okay? So you're just going to bring that arm up, up, up. You need a really wide stance for this, all right? So we're going to just slide that hand down and lift that arm up. And then we'll come back. Now this time, try it with the breath. This one's a little, can be a little difficult if you're not used to it. So you're breathing up through the nose. Arm is nice and straight and you're exhaling and sliding. Just let, let that arm come down. Good. And then we'll come back up. Try it again now. All right. Bring one arm up as you breathe up. And then we're going to reach down as we exhale. I have to keep doing that, don't I? And back. Let's breathe up through the nose. And exhale down. This, was, this would be done much slower. Just trying to give you a little taste of everything. and You can feel that nice stretch there on the inside of the leg. Wonderful. All right, now let's get behind the chair again. And um, we're just going to do our little table back. Just do it without the, the yoga breath right now. Just flatten that back right out. Keep your head up good. And we're going to walk back up. One foot in front. 
All right, opposite arm up, reach. Do a little bit of a back bend here. Bring that arm down, but stay where you are. Let's take a breath this time. Breathing up. Push those hips forward to protect your lower back. Good. And we'll do a little back bend. Good. Let's switch to the other side. The other foot is forward, opposite arm. So we're going to breathe up as we come up. And exhale as you go back. Bring that arm down. Try it one more time. Breathing up. And exhale back. And now I'm going to let you sit down and relax and do nothing. Yoga is supposed to be done relaxing. It helps you to relax. Helps you to clear your mind of that constant chatter. There we go. Now we've just got a minute left. That's all. We didn't get to our meditation. Let's try anyway, just for maybe a minute. We've got a minute left. So let's all breathe up together again. Hold and exhale. Good. Let your chin drop down. And for the rest of this minute, we will try to do nothing. Just stay calm. The music helps tremendously too. And I wish I could meditate with you right now, but our time goes so fast. And next time I promise we'll do more meditation even if you just do the yoga breathing now and then to calm you, find a quiet place. It does work. And rem remember, the mind and the body are connected. Yoga is a mind-body exercise. It's a discipline. It's not a religion. It doesn't have anything to, really anything to do with religion except that some, some people do practice it. So thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.